Okay guys, we're gonna go check out Amazon Fresh, see what's in store. Hey guys, I walked in on a promotion. If you spend $35 or more, you got $15 off. So that brought my bill to $20.46. I just picked up a few things. I grabbed a flyer so that I can kind of understand more about um, the pricing. You know, I guess, you know, it's typical is what it is, but I picked up the flyer to look through. Um, just grabbed a few things. We'll do a small haul um, when I get home. Um, I needed things like blueberries, walnuts for my oatmeal in the morning, so things like that. Um, just trying to get a feel for the store. Um, you know, are they, you know, do they have better deals? Do they have more uh, fresh options? I guess that's kind of what they're, you know, going for there, right? So we'll check it out when we get home. So we're back home and I just wanted to share with you this small little haul. I just kind of wanted to run into Amazon Fresh, see what it was all about. I mean, it's definitely like a Whole Foods, but not as, I don't think it's as fancy as a Whole Foods. It feels more like a, a mini warehouse type situation. What was neat about them is um, you can do returns there. They'll take Amazon returns. You don't have to have tape boxes. You can bring up, you know, a return back. So. When you walk into the store all the way to the right hand side they had a section for returns they had a wall of amazon's best sellers type things like you know the echo and, and stuff like that um and uh obviously no membership required prime members get free same day grocery delivery um it's kind of weird because when you walk in also you can grab a cart and a certain number of bags and basically kind of i believe it was like signed into your amazon account and then scan your groceries as you went and then I guess it would just um, bill whatever card you had on your Amazon account um, so that was one option if you didn't want to go stand in line um, uh, like everybody else um, or whoever didn't choose that um, but so I spent my total spend was let's see $20.46 um, because they did have that promotion and you saved $15 off of $35 or more. So I don't think I did too bad. Um, I definitely needed some more sleepy time tea. I love this in the evenings. I've not drank coffee since August. So I'm definitely trying out a bunch of different teas. And I feel like the sleepy time tea was coming in comparative or less than actually um, uh, Target. Trying to look at my receipt. The sleepy time tea was actually after the, it was originally $2.77, and then after the discount brought it down to like $1.50. Um, the Tazo tea was $3.19. Uh, let's see. Then I picked up and this trying to find some teas that don't have any caffeine. Um, I do have, I love Earl Grey, um, so I do have a Tazo Earl, Earl Grey and a Tazo Green Tea, um, but definitely trying to find some that don't have caffeine, and of course the Sleepy Time Tea doesn't have caffeine. Um, between now and August, I guess August I started to try and watch what I was eating, I make better choices, started to drink a lot of green tea, um, just to try and help get rid of uh, belly fat because obviously I'm like 49 so you know it is what it is um, so I got into drinking a lot of green tea at that time and now I'm just trying to branch out to other things I don't drink as much green tea as I was before um, let's see so we picked up the Justin's um, almond butter I wanted to try and of course these are pricey and the uh, hazelnut almond butter the chocolate hazelnut and almond butter and see those after the discount they started out at 129 and 125 so after the discount they were both less than a dollar i'm trying to read the um receipt as i'm talking to you guys picked up some quaker caramel um rice crisp the little minis just to sit and have uh for when work gets stressful and you want something crunchy these were originally $1.79. After the discount, they were $1.02. Um, picked up the chocolate strawberry Cheerios for my daughter to try. Limited edition for Valentine's Day, right? 
These were originally $250 and after the discount $142. Um, picked up some walnuts and blueberries because one of my favorites for breakfast um, is oatmeal uh, with a little, I just put a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, um, and then uh, some walnuts and some blueberries, and it's delicious. Um, and again, oatmeal is supposed to help with the cholesterol, right? So I needed to pick up some uh, blueberries and some walnuts. Let's see, the walnuts started out, and it's like approximately four cups. I think is what it, yeah, it's approximately four cups of halves, halves and pieces, and those were originally $8.99 and rung up $5.15 after the discount. The blueberries were, no, the organic blueberries were pretty pricey, but I found these guys, and it's a pint. They were originally $3.99, and they rung up $2.28, and they're the nice, nice big blueberries. And then I just picked up a couple things for my daughter to throw in her lunchbox. Uh, hopefully she'll like one or the other. She usually just tosses some leftovers in there from the night before. The Hillshire was $2.99 originally, rung up $1.70. And the P3 was $2.19, rung up $1.25. Oh, and then I got some um, sweet potato fries. And I'm thinking I might try and do a um, chicken slider tomorrow. And have these these were originally $3.99 rung up $2.28 um, so that's what I got at Amazon definitely gonna look at the ad he said the promotion the 15 off of 35 or more um, was good until March 14th so I think I'll definitely go back um, so I'm gonna take a look at the ad and see um, what I can see in here that might be a good deal. They did have a hot bar in there um, again, not as expansive as Whole Foods and um, Like I said more warehousey feeling um, Let's see blackberries. That's a good price um, Of course the kids would love anything like that um, Potato chips soda for the Super Bowl Cheese pizza garlic bread Couldn't find bananas. Oh, here is the skip the checkout, try Amazon dash cart is what it's called. I didn't want to try. Oh, I didn't, I could not find bananas in there. But I think I'll definitely go back. It's not, it's not close, but kind of neat and different. Uh, free in-store in -store pickup and returns. And of course you can ask this, I'm not going to say her name because she'll be all listening into the rest of our conversation. Just trying to show you guys some of the ads, prices in the ads. So yeah, I try to watch, I'm uh, down 20 pounds since August. Um, and it's just trying to watch what I'm eating. Um, and I know that sounds easier than, than said. Um, but yeah, just like, and I commented on this before, no more pizza and wings at Wegmans. Um, no more red meat. Uh, other than I did have, we um, used ground bison for some spaghetti uh, once. That bison that I got in the butcher box, we used that to make some spaghetti sauce with um, at my mom and dad's. But simple little things, just trying to um, not be so indulgent um, and just kind of see when do I snack well, when I'm stressed at work, um, things like that. So, yep, that's our little um, Amazon Fresh haul. Um, Hope you liked that video. Let me know if you have one in your area, if you've checked them out. Thanks, guys.